I'm actually speaking with two of the key people in, in L&T, representing India and representing Denmark in some sense. Right. Let's, let's hear a little bit about what's L&T doing in Denmark. Larsen and Tubro Infotech uh, primarily focuses on IT services and engineering services in the Danish, uh, in the Danish marketplace. And today we are uh, approximately 110 people, employees in Denmark and another 400 people in India supporting Danish companies. And some of our relationships are in the 10th year we celebrated with one of the leading Danish companies uh, a 10 year relationship. Uh, in the manufacturing sector we also celebrated a 10 year relationship with one of the companies in the finance sector. So in a time where there's recession, yes, and you have, have another grown, story. We have, we have grown because we have brought in new way of engagements into traditional Danish IT and engineering business models. And that new way of engagement is uh, part of the team is Danish from the customer side and us, and part of the team in India is our side. And in sometimes also Danish uh, employees working in our office representing the customer. So they actually live in India uh, and work uh, in our teams. Okay. And you as an Indian live in, Den in Denmark? I live in Denmark. I live in Denmark with my family. So, so speaking of co-creation, is that what's rolling out in absolutely, your absolutely. daily day? Absolutely, absolutely. And, and uh, the customers are delighted with the type of services we, we bring in most of the time. I'm not saying there are not fa failures, but out of 190 would be success and 10 failures, which means, which is why this relationship has lasted and grown in the last 10 years. When we started, we were one consultant. Today, today we are over 500 employees supporting Danish customers. And if I take the Danish employees who are working with us, which would be another 200. So there's a 700 team, strong team between Denmark and India, uh, working on projects in IT, in engineering services, all over, all over Denmark. Not only Copenhagen, in Aalborg, in Aarhus, in, uh, in Sonneborg, all, all, all the areas. That's what we in Denmark call a sunshine story. Now, now what would your advice be to uh, Indians and Danes who are inspired by your story? I think Indian companies coming here would have to learn the Danish way before they can you know, mesh the Indian And what's the good Danish things. way? The Danish way is uh, having employees on a long term on a project, Danish consultants long term on a project, okay? And that, that is his own pluses because uh, you sort of grow in, but it also brings in a lot of cost structure. Last but not the least, it also brings in dependability and some Danish uh, employees then retire and the knowledge goes away with them. Okay. So when you bring it as part of an organization, the knowledge stays with the organization as, and of course the organization is made of individuals, but then it's not with one person. So both the organization and the individual benefit in such a scenario, which is what Indian companies bring in, and of course LNT is part of that, into the Danish way of work. What Indian companies can learn from Denmark is the breadth and the depth of knowledge in each of the activities which we do, which as our young engineers meet, engineers, developers, consultants and BAs meet, they learn that the depth and a full uh, holistic view of a problem rather than one part of the problem when you address a problem. Somebody talked about compassion. Yeah. Is that something you find here in, in Denmark? Yeah, or what, is it, what is the word that you would put on this thing that you talk about, that the Danes have in their way of working? I think uh, the Danish society looks at it from a, uh, when you are addressing a design, you are looking at it n not only from a from the physical aspects, you're also looking at it from the emotional aspects and other aspects of it, which is equally important from a sustainability point of view, from a likability point of view, okay? And these are things, so at, uh, any product or system, an IT system or a design system has to look at all these aspects uh, to be accepted. Uh, so so, so are, are you saying that these warriors, the Vikings yeah. as they were known, mm -hmm actually are emotional people and that, that, that is a quality in this part of the world or yes know, the, sensitivity the, the sensitivity to uh, I would say when when the Danes and Indians work together as a lot of our people do the Danes treat the Indians as equal 
in, in all, all, all aspects. But there are areas where Indians, because of the way they have grown up, they handle transactions differently than from the Danes. But the way the empathy is there from the Danes towards the Indians, it's very strong, which all our team members like very much. Uh, last, I think last week somebody said in Europe you're invited to lunch only after a week. I mean, in Denmark you're invited to lunch on day one when our teams come. So that is very different. You just can't say Denmark is Europe. I mean, every European country has their own culture. Yeah.